What is up? I am making a video, hopefully quick, not so often for me, about um, a direction that I'm choosing to go in uh, my rifle competition path, uh, hopefully for next year, uh, which is NRL Hunter. So if you guys don't know, it's, uh, it's a, a rifle competition at distance off of obstacles, more geared towards uh, location identification, ranging of targets, and uh, significantly less strings of fire, um, easily shot more out west uh, just for the land area that it requires. And so um, I've started down the path and have had to make a couple selections. Uh, but one of the things and the reason that I'm making this video is it was really difficult to find any um, video information related to this particular chassis. The chassis that I chose is made by Masterpiece Armed, which you'll, I'll probably say MPA a thousand times in this video. Uh, and the particular chassis that I went with is their uh, ultra light chassis. The chassis did come from Euro Optics, which I have to give them a shout out. They're phenomenal on their selections, uh, what's in stock. They are a uh, supporter of the PRS, the Pre Precision Rifle Series. Um, and they also have phenomenal shipping. So um, I've bought, this might be my first chassis, I bought other things, but uh, also a couple scopes through them. Um, and some binos. So <clears throat> highly recommend looking at them as a as a vendor resource for uh, kind of your precision rifle needs. I, they probably do other things too, but that's what I use them for. Um, so this this chassis, and, and I'll come over here and do some more close-ups, and I'll tell you about the overall uh, build a little bit too, but this chassis um, is like two and a half pounds. And so it's super light uh, as it relates. Right now there's, I think, two weight classes um, of rifles within uh, NRL Hunter. There's a 12 pound and under and a 16 pound and under uh, uh, class that you can shoot. And so I think luckily enough, I'm gonna be able to make the 12 and under. Uh, we'll see, I may end up changing the scope around on this for something else, but um, I guess with further ado, let me give you some close-ups and so you guys can see more about the rifle that you can't find on YouTube. All right, so here we go. So uh, some more close-ups. So uh, in particular, the, the chassis um, that we're talking about today is the Masterpiece Arms Ultralight Chassis. Um, <clears throat> you can see the version that I went with, which there's two versions that you can get. Uh, the bigger difference is... Uh, really the stock option, the buttstock option that's on here. I went ahead uh, more or less probably to do with the in-stock. Uh, I went with the fixed stock. They do offer a folder. I, I haven't, um, I've actually got one or, on order. I haven't received it yet. We'll see what it does as far as like impacting the weight of this. Right now in this total build, I am uh what is it i'm under 12 so 11 pounds eight ounces so 11 and a half pounds uh i don't know if i'll make the under 12 uh if i put the folder on it but we'll see uh, and it it may just be that i shoot the 16 and under two um because i will be using this uh for a hunting rifle as well and uh packing it in it'd be nice to have the folder on it so kind of scroll down and maybe what i'll do is i'll start somewhat of the business end uh of the rifle here so um kind of from the, the tip back uh so this is a area 419 it's a uh, 65 caliber the sidewinder break um this will probably get changed out. I have a uh, Maverick on the way, and that might be the reason I end up shooting 16 and under. Uh, so for the those that you don't know, uh, the Area 419 Maverick is their um, 
is their suppressed brake and uh, probably run it on the 6.5 PRC in the 5.5 inch version. Uh, after that, I have a proof research carbon fiber uh, barrel. It's a prefit. Uh, it's a prefit for the, the action that I have here in 6.5 PRC. Uh, I'll come back to that. And so the action that I do have it running in is the Zermont Arms, with it, which is also Bighorn uh, Actions. Their Origin Action, which is their kind of lower price point. Uh, action. <clears throat> um, you can look at some of my other videos, kind of learn more about that with mechanical ejections and so on and so forth. Um, the scope may change, uh, but it's uh, Night Force NX8. There's a video that's on my channel about this uh, and some ultralight rings um, from Night Force. Uh, this is second focal plane. Um, this may get changed out to a first focal plane scope. Um, I chose this for hunting reasons. Um, there are some areas that we hunt pretty close and it's nice having the bigger reticle, but as far as competition goes, having a, a first focal plane is something I'm much more comfortable with uh, as far as the, the reticle and the rifle scope. Um, so on this, I have the MD, MDT SkyPod. This is the, the regular length, uh, not the PRS length version. So as I can tell right now with this setup, um, the, the 11 pounds, 8 ounces is with this bipod on it. Um, so I can, I have a little bit of leeway if I want to switch to a Harris and save a little bit of weight, but... I do like the, the SkyPod, uh, gives a lot of versatility. So, um, so a little bit more about the, the chassis. Uh, you can see, uh, if you guys have MPAs, it's a uh, shortened foregrip rail section. I have no weights. I do believe you can get internal weights and some other external weights for this. Uh, you'll see some flush cups that are on it. Um, it does come with a pick rail. I've taken that off just because um, most everything I run nowadays is uh, on an Arca rail. And you can see that there's an Arca that's cut down the length of the grip here. Uh, and this configuration with the bipod on it, it balances really well, kind of right in front of the magwell. The, uh, the magwell's cut back from some of the other styling they have on their competition chassis. Uh, just, I'm assuming they did it to cut some weight. I do like that there's a little bit more verticality uh, on this barrier stop that's here than versus like some of the BA chassis that they have has a, a little bit more of a angular sweep that's there. Um, this does come with a uh, adjustable mag catch mag release, which is really nice and get it tuned in there. So with the 6.5 PRCs, uh, I do run these accurate mags uh, 300 wisdom, um, versions. I really, and I, I guess it's, I guess I, I was going to say, I really don't know why they ship it with this grip. It's like one of the cheap AR angular grips. Um, they probably, I don't know, do it for weight. They probably ought to ask <laughs> about that, but, um, I'm used to shooting a vertical grip. So this is actually, uh, all their vertical grips everywhere seems like <laughs> in the world are sold out. So, I will have a vertical grip that's coming um, for this. Uh, it does have uh, an integrated bubble level that's uh, right there. And then as we get to the, the butt stock, adjustable cheek piece, uh, you can either run it as thumb turns on the backside. It also has set screws to set the height of this. Um, you can uh, install one of their bag riders that's here. I don't know that I'm gonna run it. I think. There's plenty of surface area there uh, that I can run a game changer uh, bag with. And then um, this is the custom butt, uh, butt stock that comes on uh, kind of all of their rifles. And it's multi-directional adjustable, which is what all these holes that are in the back. Um, and has a decent recoil pad. It's not super soft, but... Um, It'll be plenty for what we're doing. And, and the other thing, um, it does give you the option to, to take this out. It's held by set screws. 
Um, I like to get, um, get down here. Uh, you can see that there's different offsets to the side. I've actually flipped this over. I run mine up so that the way that the uh, recoil impulse rides higher in my shoulder through this line, which is more through the action here. So that's why I run it up in that direction. So <clears throat> uh, definitely check this out. I don't see a ton of people uh, in, in the videos that I've watched that are actually running the ultralight chassis. Uh, in this setup, it made it uh, uh, easy to make sub 12 pounds. So if you're kind of curious, um, my buddy does have a steel, steel barrel. Um, he's over 12. So if you want to make that, that'll be the other big component uh, that you'll need. And <clears throat> I do have and run a little flip and flip out flat line ops, um, bubble level too. So hopefully if you guys are looking for a little bit of information on MPA's ultralight chassis, um, I guess I, hopefully I've told you what you need to know. If you do have other questions, just hit me up in the comments. I really haven't said this in video, but you know, I hope you do subscribe if you can make it through the length of my, <laughs> of my videos are usually at least 12 minutes long. Um, but also, uh, I guess I'd appreciate some shares and trying to get the viewers up. I know I'm never going to get monetized for doing this. YouTube's just not going to make it happen. Um, so I do it for fun. Uh, I do love the sport. And so I figured I enjoy watching on YouTube, so I might as well share it with, with you all. And I, I guess I hope it helps. Thanks.